Hi everyone. In this video we'll take a look at how you can use R programming language to construct a word cloud visualization from uh, the titles of various web pages. Essentially what we will do is uh, extract the title tag uh, from a set of uh, HTML pages that we will crawl uh, using a different tool and then extract that and use R to do some very basic text processing and ultimately build a word cloud. So in the end of this uh, video you'll see how we can produce a word cloud very similar to this example that you're seeing here. Uh, so to get started uh, what we will need is an example website. Um, so I'm going to use uh, Cloudera, a very popular big data uh, and analytics company. Um, they provide uh, Hadoop distributions and support various other Apache products. Uh, so we'll use their website as an example. Uh, and uh, to assist me in extracting the HTML, I'm going to use a tool. Um, it's actually a very popular SEO tool uh, from a company called Screaming Frog, uh, but we're not using it for SEO. We are basically going to run the tool to uh, get the, uh, the titles of the pages. Uh, so I've covered this tool in a lot more detail in a previous video, so have a look at it uh, if you're confused or have uh, questions regarding the tool. Uh, so all we need to do is uh, copy the URL, paste it here, click on start, and uh, I've, I've done this in advance, so you can actually see that it's um, the tools basically crawl through um, a, a bunch of different pages. Uh, so I'm using the free version, which is uh, which has a limit of up to 500 URIs, but if you if you have the full tool, uh, you can pretty much uh, crawl through the entire Cloudera site. Um, so in this particular example, off of uh, the 500 URIs, you can see um, the 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 URL of the individual pages, and what we are very interested in is actually the the title tag. So that's the title tag, the HTML title tag that it's extracted. Of course, for most pages, it does have uh, titles. Um, some pages it doesn't, uh, which is fine. Um, so now for us to access this information in R, um, so I can export this into a CSV. Uh, so keep in mind if you're not using this tool, of course you could build your own crawler. Um, uh, so for example, you could use Beautiful Soup or Scrappy for example, Python frameworks. Um, if you're into Python or if you're using R itself, you can use tools like Rvest for example to start building your own crawlers. But uh, in this example to get things moving fast, I've uh, used a third party free tool. Um, so now we'll export this data. So now that we have the file generated, uh, we need to massage it a bit, change uh, one simple thing in the file. So when in in this particular case, the tool adds an extra row. Uh, so we will want to delete that row first and um, then proceed with uh, loading that uh, in R. Let me see if... Uh, not sure if I clicked it right first time. Let's um, try that again. All right. So, so as you can see here, it's actually um, opened the file, and uh, this is the first line that uh, we need to delete. All right. So let's get rid of that first row here, and of course that's specific to the tool that I was using. And uh, now with an R, we'll need to load and process um, the CSV file. All right, so let's dive into R now. So I've got a fairly simple set of um, instructions here. So we are going to be using uh, this popular library here, so TM library to do some text processing, and um, uh, along with uh, Snowball C, and finally we'll uh, visualize that using the word cloud library. Uh, so this shouldn't be very new to you, hopefully. Um, so I'm I'm gonna be rushing through the code. I won't be doing a lot of uh, explaining here. Uh, so run, run, run. Um, so now we have uh, read that CSV file, and just so that you know, names, of messages, apps, names. So you can see uh, these are the columns from the CSV, and what we need is uh, the title one here. So load title one. Um, don't have to inspect it right now. Uh, quickly run the word cloud. 
Um, so here you go, as you can see, really quickly we were um, able to use a um, uh, crawling tool, um, a spider tool, um, a third party open, I mean a free tool to extract um, the HTML titles and then we have pulled that in R and really quickly we were able to build um, great visualization. Uh, this is quite handy if you want to analyze um, uh, corpus of uh, text like analyze body of text uh, in this particular case uh, it was title uh, tags uh, it could be various other things pertaining to the document um, so we can do further analysis here so as an example um, to take this further you can um, potentially run further text analytics like say for example um, we can run other uh, text uh, mining algorithms. Um, so, f for instance, I'm going to skip this. It's just um, giving me the frequency of various uh, uh, terms used. But um, if I wanted to see as an example, um, so Cloudera as a company works with a lot of uh, Apache uh, projects. But uh, if we wanted to analyze uh, from the titles of uh, the various pages, uh, we can see how. Uh, correlated uh, other keywords are so you can see from uh, the word cloud itself here that uh, they do work on other uh, Apache projects like Hadoop itself of course as well as Apache Spark uh, so we can run other text mining algorithms to um, to understand the correlation or how closely related uh, these terms are within the context of um, HTML titles um, well, that's uh, that's really it for this quick demo. Um, essentially, we have um, built a quick uh, script, if you will, to uh, extract um, the output from the crawler uh, into a CSV file. We have pulled that data and ultimately presented that uh, in a, a word cloud. We can do further processing, like I've just given you a few examples how you can ex extend and enhance that, but we'll leave that for a different video. Hope you found this helpful. See you on the next one. Cheers, bye.